Gigi John Renault 2018 Spring Collection. His longest one that he's brought out in this collection, it's about 10 and 3 fourths at the nape. It's uh, 10 and a half up here in the crown, 10 and a fourth. On the sides, it's about, um, I think it's around nine, nine and a fourth, and then the bangs are seven. So you know from the length, number one, you're gonna get all these beautiful, beautiful layers. And what I love about it so much is that it's so soft, lightweight, sensual. You can tell that the ends have been razored. See how they just kind of flip and go everywhere? And it's not bulky. It doesn't weigh a ton. In fact, it's really, really light. Mono top, smart lace, of course. Let's try it on and see what happens. I've just taken it out of the box. So I don't know what we'll see. When you want to comb your wig on your hand, hold your left hand out if you're right-handed. Spread it like a ball glove. Put it on top. I put my fingers, can you see that, through the holes? And now I'm in charge of the wig. So I start at the bottom. Wow, isn't this beautiful, guys? which didn't have that dumb tag there. Now, I've just barely brushed it, but when we have the long ones, remember, we're gonna use the three fingers on the temple tabs. Swing it around. Woo! Find the back. Bring it down to your nape. Walk forward. Your ears are free. There's your little temple tabs. They're curved a little bit. It's even. Then you go back up. I'm going to try this, make it tighter, because I don't want it to fall off while you, while you see what it looks like, guys. Okay, now, we'll try it again. Okay, down to my forehead. Then I go up here. I grab the back, pull it down, walk it forward. Yeah, that's a much better fit. It's not going to fall off. There you go there. Then you go up. I do a lot of leaning. I don't know why. It just seems like it's easier for me and the hair kind of falls better. Then you go up with the smart lace. One, two, three, four, five. You put your fingers together. <laughs> and hold on that smart lace. Don't press down on anything but the smart lace. And you're gonna go count to 20, 30, then you're gonna go press and print. Then immediately, take those fingers up at that lace top, up at the sides here. Bring out all those little bitty hairs. Oh, gosh, this feels good. It's, it's really, really, really lightweight. I know it's a lot of hair for me. It's probably as long as I am tall. But gosh almighty, don't we love it? Mm. See how when you just touch it, how it just lays and falls and the layers, look in the back. It's just beautiful. I'm trying to see, I remember the color. Oh yeah, this is that 1426 S10. Can you see the roots? We made it lighter, so like it's a 10, so it doesn't contrast so much, but see how natural it looks. It's a long one, 10 and 3 fourths from the nape down, 10 and 3 fourths up here, and This is seven and three-fourths. Now watch what I'm doing. Twist, twist. Once you get good at that and you've done it a lot, you don't have to take so much time with it. Like I showed you on the tips and tricks, and I was really doing it with the comb and the brush. See, just that little bit. Hmm. Get rid of that. Oh. 
book. She's called Gigi. This one would be beautiful. Pull, take your thumbs, go right through like that. Then lift, lift, and clip. Then you get your poof, and you get this cascading of waves. Isn't it beautiful? You can also do the same by pulling this up. It's long enough and clip it. Don't be afraid to mess with your wigs and do them different ways. I swear to you, you put a bobby pin in this or a barrette or a star or a ribbon or whatever, nobody dreams you have a wig on. Her name is Gigi. I do feel a little French. <laughs> Have a great day, great weekend. Bye.